Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at two products from Unitech. So for those of you who have NVMe SSD drives laying around or are trying to clone them or just get an internal drive into an external enclosure, these might be of interest. So the first one is just a really affordable uh, enclosure for M.2 uh, SATA and NVMe drives. I think it retails for about $20. I'll include a link in the description. Let's go ahead and open this up. Just really straightforward. Uh, you can see we've got some thermal pads there, a user manual, a couple of uh, cables, one being type C to C, the other type C to A. And again, this is a uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2, so you know what speeds to expect from it. Uh, this isn't gonna deliver Thunderbolt, but it should still be very good. Uh, and, you know, we have some aluminum mixed with plastic, uh, the type C port right there, uh, activity light right there, and I believe this is tool free. So let's see if I can just, I'm not looking at any instructions, just hit that button and drop it in. And you can see it accommodates multiple uh, form factors, the different sizes of drives. And that's pretty much it. So again, at roughly 20 US dollars, really affordable. And I mean, you can see that it should be really easy to use. Now the other drive, a little bit more expensive. We're talking about, I think it's roughly 130 US dollars. This is more dynamic though. This is a dual enclosure and I covered something similar uh, from Sabrent and essentially this will let you do offline cloning so it does not need to be connected to a system. And you can see there the two bays uh, for the NVMe drives. Again, different uh, alignments for different size drives um, and you'll be able to see all the compatibility uh, online and then you can see we've got lettering for A and B and then we have LEDs uh, to let you know what you're actually cloning I presume first power then A then B and you know essentially guides through the cloning process a fan on the back of this and yeah it's pretty straightforward I believe this just it just clicks in so this is another tool free design I really like that aluminum enclosure plastic on the inside we have a cloning that is a dedicated cloning button right there, Type-C port, and what I presume these, I don't know if this is just ventilation or if these are more activity lights, and then a dedicated uh, power uh, barrel pin hole right there for keeping this topped off, because you are going to need to power this, uh, especially if you are cloning it. And here is the, what is included in terms of USB cables. Let's go ahead and just get in that box. So we have some more thermal pads. It appears we've got uh, the rubber uh, nubs in order to lock in the NVMe drives there. Yep, so they give you quite a few pads. And of course, those tips to lock in the drives. <clears throat> and then, as I mentioned, we get a type C to type C, a type C to type A, and of course, the power brick to make it all happen. So we'll see how it works. I mean. Uh, hopefully it works well. I like the form factor. Uh, Unitech, I know I've used their products in the past. So, you know, it's just a matter of testing it out, but I wanted to share it with all of you. Um, I'm going to throw some drives in here and see how well it does. Uh, and it does have labeling there for everything I was just discussing with the cloning, uh, you know, essentially to let you know, sort of make it idiot proof, uh, all of that uh, information being labeled on the back side, just like A and B is labeled on the front of the enclosure. But that rounds it out. Again, two, I would say, affordable enclosures from Unitech uh, that do very different things. You know, one giving you dual drive capability and cloning for $130, uh, the other just being a simple drive. But one thing they both do is they deliver tool-free uh, and what hopefully are, uh, you know, full-featured experiences when it comes to uh, dropping your NVMe SSDs into external enclosures and getting as much performance out of them. Oh, and I almost missed that lock right there as well. So that pretty much rounds it out. This way you cannot eject it. Uh, so glad I, I caught that last second. Any question, any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.